starting? You want to start? Sure. Let's do it. Bam! Starting. Is that good? That's good. All right, we're starting. Hi. Uh, we're here with, with Bradford Cox. Hello. Hello. Um, and you had an album that came out yesterday, I believe? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, it's real good. Thank you very much. Um, I was walking over here with Hanley, um, who's videotaping. You can't see her. Yeah, you right can now. go over here. Because I can't, like, I want to turn and look to you, but I can't. Do you want to switch with me? Is that better then? <laughs> Maybe that would be better, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I think I tripped way too many times when I was a teenager, and, like, when I have somebody moving in my peripheral vision, it really fucking bugs me if I can't, like. Right. These guitars remind me of Atlanta Miles. What is that? Atlanta Miles. How old are you? How am I? 27. Uh, me too. You don't remember Black Velvet? Atlanta Miles? Black Velvet. Black Velvet and a little boy smile. It's like a. It was like uh, a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me blow my nose. Yeah. What do you think about um, Afghanistan? <laughs> do people actually drink beer out of that bathtub during the day? I don't know. I just got here about 10 minutes before you. That's pathetic. Damn. I fucking hate this culture. I sound like I'm sick, but I'm not sick. I want you to know that. Don't be worried. I smoke three cigarettes. Are you trying to quit? Yes. How's it going? Well, three cigarettes in one night's a bad night. I don't know. I need that chemical mediation. Let's kill this your voice. This is the most boring interview. I just feel like the viewers would be like... Well... It'd be like... Over Screw it's you like, guys. It's like when I sat next to these couples at this restaurant the other night. I went to this pho, um, you know, pho restaurant. And I was by myself. And uh, I sat down. And I kind of was, like, tired. I'd had a really long day. So I was like, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to really eat slow. And, and slowly, three couples, while I was eating, cycled next, sitting next to me, came and went. All couples <coughs> at this restaurant were talking about the same stuff, and it sounded like they were interviewing each other. But isn't that that's kind of what a date it's is? Like, it's like interview, like, though. Isn't what it? kind of music are you into? Oh, I love hip hop as well. I really <laughs> like Alicia Keys. Oh, you know, like it's just like real, like just sort of. Uh, I mean, I don't mean to sound like some, like a judgmental person or like a you know elitist or something. I just felt like it was sad. Did it sound boring? It didn't sound boring, it sounded desperate. Like, I, I was just thinking, I'm so glad that I don't <laughs> You're not go through that. Yeah. You know, that I don't have to sit there and like, I would never, I don't think I would ever go on a date. How's your love life? I don't have a love life, I don't have time. You don't have time? No, and plus it's just not something I've ever been really good at or interested. I mean, I just would never go on a date. I would never do that. I would never sit there and you never went on a date at all? Mm-mm. Wow. Never. I never, but I mean, it's not like a, I mean. I mean, I guess you don't feel like you're missing out. I don't feel like, I, no, I mean, I could have if I wanted. Sure, I'm sure you could get a date. Maybe. I don't know, I don't mean, <laughs> know if I mean it that way. You're dressed really nice, you know? <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe I could get a date with a tailor. <laughs> but I mean. I know a nice one on 23rd Street. They tie-dyed the Empire State Building. Did you see that at no. all? We put that on our blog. For the Read your own journey. blog. I was prepping for my interview with you. I missed it. <laughs> yeah, that, prepping, <laughs> that, that prepping really paid off, didn't it's it? Been, it's been me humming Sheila for the last three days. Um, oh, that's a good thing. That's my song about not, you know, look. You don't date people, I don't date people, neither of us are interested in this whole relationship business. Let's just make a contractual like a agreement. To not die alone. To, to yeah, to it's, bury each other. That's a very Jewish sounding concern, but it's also a very willing grace sounding concern, actually. Wow. Not in a bad way. Grace. What? I don't know anything about TV. You know what that but is, I just though. know that's the gay show. Well, that was that was the deal. They were like, well, we're all like, we're each other's oh, eternal awful. companions. God damn it. 
That's terrible. You just made me hate my own. I'll never play that song again. No. You just ruined that song for me for the rest of time. No, I didn't. Well, I'll I still like it, so that's cool for me. I'm going to start introducing it as the Will and Grace song. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to start singing Will and Grace instead of Sheila. Instead of Sheila? Oh, man. I wonder what happened to them at the end. They died. 